Hello, this is How To Weekly, and in today's video, we'll be showing you how to solve the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. So to start off this video, I'm just going to say a few different things that you're going to need to know in order to solve the cube. Um, the, right here is the yellow side, opposite of that is the, the white side. Um, yellow and white will always be opposite, no matter how you move the cube. Opposite of red is orange, and opposite of green is blue. Uh, now, these pieces here in the corners are called corner pieces. The pieces here are called middle pieces. So now I'll move on to step one. The next step in solving the Rubik's Cube is creating a daisy shaped pattern on the yellow side of the cube. To do that, you're going to want to have four white middle pieces lined up right here. If you look up in the top corner, you should see a picture showing what you want to have it looking like. And to do that, we're just going to find our white middle pieces and we're going to just move the cube around so that we can line them up like this. So you're going to want to have three more right here. So you're just going to find your middle white middle pieces. Here's another one. Rotate it into place. So now you've got two. Find another white middle piece. Here's another one. Let's move this over here. Just keep on doing that until you've got a daisy shaped pattern on the yellow side. So find the last middle piece. Here it is bring it up and we've got the four pieces don't need to worry about these ones for now but as long as you have these four you should be good now we'll move on to the next step the next step in solving your Rubik's Cube is creating a white cross on the white side of your cube I'll show you a picture of that up in the top right there what that means is you'll have white pieces going in a cross shape right on the bottom of your cube to do that we'll just rotate these pieces down to the bottom. So you'll want to make sure that the side of your white piece lines up with the center piece right here. So this one's red and it lines up. So now we'll just move it to the bottom. This one's green. We're just going to move it to the green side and then we'll rotate it to the bottom. So we're starting to create the cross. Here's another piece. It's orange on the side. So we're just going to move that to the orange side and rotate it to the bottom. One more piece left. It's blue. It's already lined up. We'll just bring that one to the bottom. And now we've got our cross. So that's pretty simple. Um, might want to just pause the video and get to this stage and then you can move on to the next step. The next step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to get all of your white corner pieces lined up on the white side of the cube. This will solve the entire white face of the cube. To make sure that you've got the white cross solved properly, check all the sides of your white middle pieces. This one's red, and make sure that you have them lined up like this. So there's two reds here, two blues here, two oranges, and two greens. Make sure that you have it done like that. Now, we're going to start moving our white pieces up to the top. So here's a white piece. Um, as you can see, it's green on the side. So we're going to want to have it lined up with the green side. Then we're going to want to bring it up here. We can't just bring it up like this because that will ruin the white cross. You want to always keep the white cross intact. So instead of doing that, we're just going to line up the green part of the, the white piece. We're going to rotate this out of the way. Bring this down. Bring the white piece back in and rotate it up. Now we have the white piece up here. The cross is still here and the green side piece is on the green side of the cube. Now we'll find another white piece. Here we go. It's blue. It's already lined up with the blue side. Again, we're not just going to rotate it up because that would ruin our cross. We're going to rotate it to the left. Bring this side down. Bring the white piece back in and put it in place. Now the white piece is there. The blue side the white piece is on the blue side of the cube and we got a white piece up here now we're going to find another white piece here we go it's white here and it's blue here let's bring it over to the blue side and once again we're not just going to rotate the white side up to the top because that would ruin the white cross what we're going to do is rotate the white side out of the way bring the side down and then we have the white piece on the top we're starting to create a layer around the top here. We just have one more white piece that we need to put up here. So here's the white piece. We can't get it to the top, to the top here when we have it on 
this side. We're going to bring it down to the bottom. To do that, we're just going to rotate it down, turn it, bring this back up. Now the white piece is down here. It's green on the side, so we're going to bring it over to the green side. Again, we're not just going to rotate it up because that would ruin the cross. So we're going to rotate it to the right, bring the left side down, and there we go. So now the entire white side of the cube is solved, and we have a layer around the top. Next step will be creating a layer around the middle. Now that we have the white side solved, and we have a layer around the top of the cube, we're going to try to create a layer around the middle. In order to do that, we're going to look at the bottom of our cube and find a middle piece that has no yellow on it. Here's one. It has no yellow. It's blue and red. We're going to rotate it so that this red side lines up with the right side of the cube, and we have this T-shape right here. Next, we're going to look on the bottom. It's blue. So that means we want the blue piece right here to end up there and the red part to end up here. In order to do that, we need to bring the, this piece to the right. So we're going to start by moving to the left. This piece is still right there. Bring the bottom side to the right. Bring down this. And this is the piece that we want to bring over, so we're going to bring it over to the right. And rotate this up. Now this will ruin our, uh, our white side of the cube, but it's easy to fix. We're just going to rotate this part up. The last, this one needs to go here, so we're going to move it out of the way. Bring this side down. Bring the white back in. And bring this up. So now the, this, that piece is right here now. And we have the entire red part solved. Now I'm going to look back at the bottom and find a middle piece with no yellow on it. This one has yellow on it. This one has yellow on it. And so does this one. But this one is blue and orange. So... We're going to bring the blue part over to the blue side of the cube. So we have the T. And notice that the bottom is orange. That means we want to bring it over to the right side here. So we want the orange to end up right here and the blue to end up right here. Since we're bringing, bringing it over to the right, we're going to rotate it to the left. Rotate the bottom to the right. Bring down the right side and rotate the middle over. And bring this up. Once again, it'll ruin our white side, but simple fix. Just do this. And now the white side is fixed. Now we'll flip the cube back over and look for another middle piece without any yellow on it. In this case, this middle piece has yellow, this one has yellow, this one has yellow, and so does this one. That leaves us with a problem, but it's easy to fix. We'll just substitute uh, a piece that's right here with a yellow piece. What I mean by that is we're just going to use that same algorithm we've been using to swap this one out with this one. So we want to bring this to the left, so we're going to move it to the right. Bring the bottom side to the left. Move down on this side and bring the middle over to the left. Rotate this back in. Now that yellow and green piece is right here. Let's fix our white side again. like that. Now if we look on the bottom, we have a piece that has no yellow on it. So that is orange and green. So we'll bring this green side over here. So now we have the green, the green T and it's orange on the bottom. That means we want to bring it over to the left where the orange side is. So that means we're going to move it to the right, bring the bottom side to the left, rotate the left side down, and bring the, the middle over to the left. Rotate it up. So now we just got to fix our white side again. There you go. There we go. Now we have the entire middle layer solved. Might want to pause the video or rewind and take another look at that so you can get it solved. And now we'll move on to the next step. Now that we have our middle and top layer of the cube solved, as well as the entire white side, we're going to flip over the cube and we're going to start working on the yellow side. So at this point, there are a few different um, ways that your cube might look. Uh, you could have this bar running across the middle of your cube, or you may have a little L shape that will face top left here. So you'd have a yellow, a yellow, and a yellow. Um, 
I'll have pictures of those up in the right hand side here. Uh, but for, for me, I've got this bar. Um, you might uh, just have a single yellow piece in the middle and you don't have a bar or the little L in the top left. But in my case, I've got the bar. So I'll have the algorithm for the little L in the top right over there. Um, but if you have just a dot, you're going to use the algorithm twice. You can use the L algorithm or the bar algorithm that I'm about to use. So anyways, if you've got the L, follow along over there. And if you have this bar, follow what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to move the face clockwise, the right side clockwise, the up side clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and the face or the front counterclockwise. Okay, so now we've got this yellow cross. That was what our goal was in this step. Um, and in the next step, I'll show you how to get the corner pieces. In this step, we're going to be solving all the yellow corner pieces on the yellow side of the cube. Right now, as you can see, I've got this yellow cross. There's a few other variations you may have, and I'll put those up on the screen right now. If you have the yellow cross, follow along with what I'm about to do. First of all, you're going to find, uh, see there's these yellow pieces right here? You're just going to get one, in, you're going to have it in the bottom right here, just make sure you have it in the bottom right facing outwards like this one, so it's facing outwards to that side. Make sure it's in the bottom right, just like this. And then you'll do the following algorithm. Right side, up, right side counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, and right counterclockwise. And now as you can see, I've got this fish shape right here, so that's like the head and that's like the tail. And once you get this fish, which is basically the main goal right here, is to get this fish, um, you want to have the head facing in the bottom bottom left right here, and then you'll do the algorithm once more. So right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right clockwise, up twice, and right counterclockwise. After you do that, you'll have the entire yellow side solved. If you had one of the other variations, then uh, stay with me right here. I'm just going to show you how to solve with the other variations. To solve the yellow side, when you have this variation, you're going to do the following algorithm. You're just going to want to have the, the shape facing in this direction. So you're going to have the, these up here and this bottom piece on the bottom. And you're going to go right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, and right counterclockwise. And now you'll have this fish shape. So here's like the fish shape again. Here's the head, here's the tail. Um, you just want to have it facing the bottom left corner like this. And then you'll go right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, and right counterclockwise. Once again, bring the fish back to the bottom left, like this. And now you're going to go right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, and then right counterclockwise. And that will solve the entire yellow side of your cube. If you have this variation on the yellow side of your cube, you're just going to find a yellow piece right here and make sure you have it facing towards you. And then you'll do the following algorithm. Right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, and then right counterclockwise. And that'll give you this fish shape again. And you'll have it facing the bottom left. And you'll go right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, right counterclockwise, bring the fish back down to the bottom left, and do this algorithm one more time, right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up twice, right counterclockwise. And there you go, you'll have the entire yellow side solved, and all we'll have left is the top layer. 
Okay, so now that we have the yellow side of our cube solved, all we have left is to create a layer around the cube on the top. So we've got two layers, need our third layer right here. Um, so right now, you'll just want to look around your cube and check for matching corners. So what that would mean is two corners that are the same color right here. These aren't the same color. I have matching corner pieces right here. So you might have no matching corner pieces, um, but this will still work. You'll just use the following algorithm twice. But if you do have matching corner pieces, bring them over to their correct side and have it facing away from you. And then do the following algorithm. If you have no same corners, just do the following algorithm two times. So you'll go right, counterclockwise, face, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, the back, twice, um, right, clockwise, the front, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, back, twice, and then right, twice. can be clockwise or counterclockwise. So as you can see, we still have the entire yellow side solved, and we have matching corner pieces on each side, and we have one complete side. You may have uh, just matching corner pieces, and you have no complete side. Uh, this will still work. We'll just solve the cube in the next step. Okay, so now that we have all of our corner pieces matching, it's time to finish solving the cube. So in my case, I actually have one complete side. If you have a complete side, just make sure it's facing away from you. Uh, but for the for these sides, we have a middle piece right here that needs to move over here. So that's a clockwise motion. So this would move clockwise over to here. Um, so to do that, you'll just want to do right twice, up clockwise, right clockwise, up, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, clockwise, and right, counterclockwise. Okay, so as you can see, my entire cube is now solved. I'll just show you the algorithm I just did to solve the cube one more time and you should be solved. So just have your solved side facing away and do this. Right, twice, up, clockwise, right, clockwise, up, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, clockwise and right counterclockwise. So there you go, your cube should be solved right now. Uh, and once again, this is a hard cube to solve for a beginner, so just give it some time. Eventually you'll be able to get it. Maybe go through the video a few times. And yeah, so like, comment, maybe subscribe if you want. Uh, yeah, see you later.